as I am traveling solo, being totally responsible for myself, it's unbeatable that I just discovered just how capable I am. I believe I can fly. Traveling alone with the experience. What's up with you guys? It's Anne here and welcome to another travel vlog. <laughs> okay, good morning from the beautiful place here in Kovalo. Yes, and time check is only 6 in the morning. What's up with you guys? It's Anne here and welcome to another travel vlog. So I am in Kovalo for one day. This is my last until 12 p.m. Yes, I'll be checking it out, checking out and I am heading to Kanyakumari. So today I have to do more videos. I have to travel. I have to take a look some other more places. And yeah, I was just outside of my uh, room and yeah, let's just go and check it out. The rock cut cave appears to be an intrusive element in Kerala that drifted from Tamil Nadu region. It is one of the ancient rock cut temples in Kerala. It is a small shrine with a central cell. Having an indifferent sculptures, sits Dakshinamurthy, datable to 8th century. On the second side of the cell are unfinished panel, the sifting sculptures of Tripurantaka and Siva as Nataraja and Parvati standing close to him. This is centrally protected monument under the control of Archaeological Survey of India since 1965. Traveling alone will be the scariest, most liberating, life-challenging experience of my life. As I am traveling solo, being totally responsible for myself, it's unbeatable that I just discovered just how capable I am. Ah, thank you. Yeah. I believe I can fly. Traveling alone with the experience. Hopefully, one day. Life challenging experience yeah. of my life. No, I'm moving to Kanyakumari. I'm solo, being totally responsible for myself. It's unbeatable 
but I just discovered just how capable I am. It's just really amazing to have this thing. Coconuts. Suga mano. Do you know what is uh, playing food? No. It's a lover. Oh, okay. It's really good for the nourishment, nourish your hair, skin, and everything. Oh. I also can eat aloe no medicine oh, sh for health. Nice, nice. You are doing that every day? Yeah, every day. Oh, Please, okay. Help. Oh, Sherry. Nice. Yes. You can explain for me the uh, board. Do you know about traveling in city? How can we learn by traveling? Learning from traveling means you have to adapt yourself. Then, you know, for example, for me. Traveling for me is something that it allows me to know the culture deeper. It's not just all about seeing the whatever it's there, tourist spot, just like this for me. I mean, <laughs> wearing like this. I, you know, I respect the culture. I don't wear shorts like other does because I respect it. And that's how I learn the tradition and do, you know. Yeah, exactly. That's important thing. Uh, have you ever imagined that how can travel without money, gadgets? Nobody and does. Everything? Without gadget, you can travel, but without money, you cannot travel. Yeah, that's the interesting point. We have been exploring that travel without money and without any gadgets. We have we have seven more than seven group of students mm -hmm. for a workshop that will increase our self-confidence, uh, independency, how to manage failure, how to face challenges. This is a new idea that is named Cycle Yatra. Okay. Yatra means travel. Uh, this seven days, it's a period of seven days, we will travel one particular place from in India to Ladakh, suppose. We are traveling India to Ladakh, the northern India, but the part of India. Okay. Without any gadgets, without any money. Yeah, can you ever imagine that? You tried that, huh? Yeah. How did you survive for seven days without money, without anything? Yeah. Then how could you buy food? Yeah. You mean you just packed your... Yeah, that's the interesting thing. That will increase our willpower and dependency. How can depend one person? Such, I am traveling, I need water and I go to one shop that sir, I am, I am this one of the part of traveling city project. So what, can you give me one little cup of tea, one cup of tea, I will do work instead of that. Okay, but people are allowing you to do that, like the, in return they will give you some tea? 40% of the people never allow, but there is a hope. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we, I personally experienced that. Uh, I literally is kind of begging, but we will uh, provide you uh, that instead of service. If I go, uh, I just it's a part of like hitchhiking mm -hmm. through the way of hitchhiking. We, whether you, I don't know whether you give them money or something. Have you ever given uh, money? Yeah, one time I did and there is one guy in the train coming here actually. He cannot walk, like he was just moving his leg and he asked for me some water. 
So from my back, it was like, there is no well there. So I just put some water and I just give him the water. And you know, I really feel so sad because of his situation. And what happened is, I just gave him some 1,000 rupees. Yeah, it's good. Because of his, his inability to yeah. earn money. This is a way of, you can give them by heart. Thank you for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and like and share my video. And have a great day. This is Anne again. This is Malu by Heart. And thank you, thank you, thank you.